A very good morning to all of you. Today we shall begin with chapter number six, and the title of our chapter is "Dependence on Plants for Everyday Life." What is this chapter about? Let us open our books and begin to read. Dependence on plants is basically a chapter that tells us the many many ways in which we use plants. in our everyday life can you name any three things around you that are made from plants i'll give you an example a flower pot is made out of a plant or maybe you have the eraser that you use the rubber is made out of plants can you name anything else is there a plant in your area that was never there when your grandparents were young can you find that name Every day we use things such as pencils books papers newspapers napkins musical instruments and medicines which come from plants we eat various parts of a plant plants are very important to us in our everyday lives animals also eat plants some eat only fruits some eat whole branches and some suck the nectar from flowers plants keep the air fresh and clean in addition plants add beauty and pleasure to our lives so if i have to sum up this paragraph i would like to say one that we use so many things that are given to us by plants two that we eat different parts of a plant three animals are also dependent upon plants four Some animals eat only fruits and whole branches while some animals suck nectar out of the flowers. Fifth point. Plants keep the air fresh and clean and the last point number 6 that plants add beauty and pleasure to our lives. Let us begin discussing about some small points that we need to discuss. We will discuss five main subtopics. Food from plants fiber from plants wood from plants medicines from plants and introduction of some new plants so let us get started food from plants look at these pictures dear children you see the pictures of wheat rice jowar and bajra we get cereals or food grains from plants wheat rice maize jowar and bajra are main cereals we also get pulses these are moong urad arhar rajma soybean which are important pulses and a traditional part of every indian cooking household we get vegetables from plants and their different parts radish carrot turnip beetroot and sweet potato are all root vegetables because we are eating these roots Look at this interesting fact. Fruits and vegetables are often plucked raw and they are made ripe with chemicals so that they do not spoil over long distances. These chemicals can make us sick. So you have understood that you would have often seen that there are two varieties of fruits or vegetables. One is the normal variety and one is the organic variety. The normal variety is when vegetables and plants are treated with chemicals so that their shelf life increases so that they do not rot immediately they are uh, available and they look fresh for a longer period of time but the problem with using these chemicals is that they spoil our health the organic vegetables are the ones which do not use any chemicals or fertilizers and are naturally ripened potato and ginger are also root vegetables they grow underground beneath the ground cabbage spinach lettuce etc are some leafy vegetables lady finger brinjal pumpkin bitter gourd tomato and capsicum they are all actually fruits which we eat as vegetables so you can see here photo of potato and ginger which are root vegetables cabbage and spinach which are leafy vegetables and brinjal and tomato which are actually fruits eaten as vegetables 
we get cooking oil from the seeds of some plants you must have heard people using groundnut oil mustard oil coconut oil sunflower oil these are all plants that give us oil we get spices from these plants cardamom cloves pepper cumin turmeric are some of the main spices we also get beverages like tea coffee and cocoa from plants sugar is made from the juice of sugarcane here in these pictures you can see mustard oil extracted from mustard seeds cloves clove also give us oils but they are also spices coffee seeds have a great aroma they also give us beverage of coffee and sugar cane from which sugar is processed fiber from plants fiber is basically the basic element from which cloth is made cotton comes from cotton plants used to make cotton clothes jute from jute plants is used to make gunny bags carpets curtains ropes etc coir is a fiber from the husk of coconut and is used in making mats hats bags and ropes flax plants tough stalks are used to make tough linen threads wood from plants trees give us timber for building houses and making furniture and other goods the wood of a willow tree is used to make cricket bats wood chips are used in making paper the pencil is also made of wood other products which we get from trees include cork natural rubber maple syrup and turpentine see this interesting fact here palm trees are nature's supermarket because they provide food clothing and building material plants are an important source of fuel in many parts of the world people burn wood to heat their homes or cook their food children we now talk about a very important contribution from the world of plants and that is medicine everything that treats our diseases or makes us more healthy also comes from plants many useful drugs come from plants some of these plants have been used as medicines for thousands of years the bark of cinchona tree is used to make quinine a drug used to treat malaria and now it is used even for the treatment of corona virus our grandparents still use many plants as medicines such as tulsi leaves which are boiled with tea to cure common cold introduction of new plants today we find new kinds of fruits and vegetables which did not exist in earlier times they are available mainly due to two reasons one they cannot be easily transported from other countries by ship or air and number two they can be easily grown in many parts of india due to improvements in farming technology these new varieties grow faster and are now grown on a large scale plants like kiwi broccoli and quinoa are some of the new varieties of plants and if you ask your grandparents they will tell you they did not have these plants during their times with this we come to the end of our chapter let us have a quick recap of the chapter can somebody quickly recap the chapter for me okay plants keep air fresh and clean plants are very useful to us in many different ways from plants we get food fiber wood paper fuel and medicine fiber there are many new kinds of fruits and vegetables that can be found nowadays which did not exist earlier so this was our chapter that discussed about our dependence upon plants in our everyday lives i hope the chapter was absolutely clear and you will now be ready to solve the exercises with this i sign out here have a good day